Hello, Unit 5 Parents and Guardians. Welcome to the Infinite Campus Parent Portal tutorial videos. In this tutorial video, we will be going over the Message Center and also the User Profile Settings. When you log into Infinite Campus, you will need to go over to the left-hand side. It has three horizontal lines. This is the Infinite Campus Parent Portal menu. The first tab that you see is the Message Center. The Message Center has Announcements and Inbox. On Announcements, it will give you some general announcements that are given to you by your child's school. As you can see here, um, there was an announcement on uh, August 30th, 2021. If I click on the Inbox tab, the Inbox tab has several different messages from my children's schools as well. And as you can see, it uh, covers quite a few different topics from the Python press to a normal West survey to concussion protocol as well. Over in the right hand side, you'll notice that there's a bell. This is also notifications. You'll see that I have a low account balance notification. To the right of the notifications is the user menu. When I click on this, you'll notice that I have a couple different options. I have settings, language, and then give feedback. Let's take a look at settings. When I click on settings, the first option that I have is the notification settings. When I click on this, it allows me to adjust uh, notifications that I want in regards to assignments, grades, lunch balance. So the first one that I have clicked on is assignment is scored. Currently, I will receive a notification if one of my uh, kids assignments is scored less than 90%. Now I can adjust this to whatever percentage I want. You'll know that they go of increments of 5%. So I could leave it at less than 60%. So anytime one of my kids has an assignment that's scored at less than 60, I'll get a notification at it on that. Currently, I have mine set up for 90%. The next notification that I can adjust is grade is updated. So currently, I have a notification for when any of my kids' grades are updated. I can adjust this again by percentage. So if the grade overall grade changes by, let's say, less than 90%, then I will get a notification. I keep mine at all grades just because I want to be up to date with my uh, kids grades when they're updated the next is lunch balance is low currently i have mine set at less than twenty dollars that is in reference if you remember to the notifications so anytime that the balance goes under twenty dollars i'll receive a notification that i need to uh, put more money in my account i can adjust this as well in increments of five or ten i can increase it all the way to a hundred I like to keep mine at about 20 to $25. Next up, uh, these are notifications on attendance. So if you want to get uh, a notification when your child is absent for a class, you can get a notification. Responsive course is scheduled. You can have a notification. And if a document requires an e-signature, you can get a notification on that as well. Anytime that you have changes, that you make in this, make sure you hit save. Next up, we have account settings. In this section, you can update your account security email by clicking update. There is a password section, but you will, in order for you to change this password, you will need to contact the unit office. You can also add an e-signature pin by clicking on add. Now it gives you some minimum requirements for what your pin must be for e-signatures. So you can fill this section out if you want, whenever the time comes that you might need to do some type of signature that is an e-signature, you can uh, confirm it by making sure that this is uh, filled out and ready to go. Next up is your contact preferences. 
So you can uh, change your cell phone contact preferences, your work phone number here. You can add another uh, other phone next to it. You can update your email address and include a secondary email address as well. You can also change the preferred language that you want the district to send out communications to you other than English. You'll need to click on this drop down button here. If we scroll down to the bottom, we have message preferences. Currently right now, Unit 5's message preference is set for email. It does not give the uh, text or SMS option currently. You can uh, then go ahead and decide on what you want to be messages given to you, whether it's through priority, attendance, general, teacher, behavior messenger, uh, emergency, food service, or staff as well. And again, any changes that you make to this, please hit save. We're going to move back over to the right hand side and go to user menu. And under language is where we can change the type of language that you want Infinite Campus to show you. You'll click on the drop down um, box here and pick whatever uh, language that you prefer. And again, you want to hit save. And last option that you have in the user menu is give feedback. Um, Infinite Campus gives the option for parents to uh, take a uh, survey on the parent portal and give some feedback in that regard as well. And that concludes our tutorial video uh, for the parent portal for Message Center and also user menu settings.